Hello from Bangkok, Thailand. The topic of today's video is the statements by Professor M Lewis Michael Seidman, a law professor at Georgetown University, who thinks that the U.S. Constitution is somewhat obsolete and it's the right of the people and not such a big deal to do away with the Constitution. Um, I would say that if you're going to do away with the Constitution, that we should examine the history of the Constitution and uh, understand that the Constitution is integral to the identity of the United States. Um, and therefore, doing away with the Constitution is not only a bad idea, but it's ultimately very ironic that a professor of constitutional law would come across with such an anti-patriotic idea and an idea that is so offensive to the very moral fabric, fabric of our country. Um, perhaps if we can explain it by looking at the initial founding documents of this country and, and understand how essential the Bill of Rights is and the Constitution is to what the United States is all about. For example, the uh, Declaration of, of Independence states that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now that's the Declaration. We also have the Constitution itself. The Constitution also sets out in the preamble with the same concentration on the idea of liberty, which is ultimate freedom to pursue uh, your personal objectives and to not be constrained by a despotic authority. So the Constitution reads, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic uh, tranquility, provide for common defense, promote general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity to our day and establish this constitution for the United States of America. So although the common words and parlance among correspondents and journalists and media personalities today are um, collectivism, um, equality, um, sharing, uh, sharing the wealth, the words that were commonly used by our founding fathers, one of the most popular words was liberty. Liberty. So I would suggest to Professor Lewis Michael Seidman that if he'd like to do away with the Constitution, uh, maybe him and his group can do so, but they should not call their new country the United States of America. Perhaps they should call it the Socialist States of America or the People's Republic of America. But the United States of America is based on the Constitution and the direct Declaration of, of Independence and liberty is a, is a foundational concept. In fact, the U.S., the American Revolution, fought against the British authorities, the British king, by the colonies, was a libertarian revolution. It is the most successful revolution in history because it was libertarian. Our Constitution has endured for over 300 years, making one of the longest living constitutions in history. Where I'm living now in Thailand, they're currently on their 27th Constitution. Constitutions come and go every few years. Now, the U.S. Constitution has had to be amended. In the context of history, it's changed over time. There's been a multitude of Supreme Court uh, decisions that have interpreted and varied somewhat the meaning of the Constitution, but the principle of liberty is something that we still understand in America, and the basic tenets of the Bill of Rights are sacrosanct, and they should not be altered. Um, now again, a libertarian revolution was what founded America. Now let's look at the other countries around the world that have had revolutions. Normally when you think about a revolution, you think about a socialist revolution. Every other country that has had these so, so, uh, socialist revolutions has ended up poorer with people with less freedom, less liberty. Uh, let's go down the list. China, Cambodia, Cuba, Soviet Union, the Soviet bloc states. I could go on and on. A libertarian revolution lasted, a libertarian constitution lasted for a good reason, because it's better. So, um, by the way,
Professor Lewis Michael Seidman. I study, I study constitutional law. I'm also a law school graduate. I'm not a professor. Um, I did my work on the Constitution primarily in the, in the criminal and civil courts uh, of the state of Hawaii, also the federal courts in the state of Hawaii. And uh, I, I saw the Constitution being used in practical cases, defending individual rights against despotic police and government official that abused our Bill of Rights in individual cases. I was on the front lines, not in an ivory tower, um, talking platitudes and, and theories about the Constitution, but I, I actually witnessed and actually was operative in the working Constitution to protect citizens against illegal search and seizures, against violations of basic rights. And I think that what you're doing is frankly a disgrace to our profession and our disgrace to the principles of liberty that's embodied in our Constitution. That's all from the Thai Law Forum for today from Bangkok, Thailand. See you next time.